This is Jan Del Antonio. I'm an astronomer and professor of physics at Brown University. On August 21st, we're going to experience a rare astronomical event. We will have a total solar eclipse that will cross the entire continental U.S. For people living in the U.S., this will be the first eclipse since 1979 and the first across the entire continental U.S. since 1918. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon in its orbit around the Earth passes directly between the Earth and the sun. Because the angular size of the moon and the angular size of the sun, that is how big they appear, are closely matched, the shadow of the moon is quite small when it reaches the Earth, and therefore a narrow path of the Earth will experience darkness. During a total solar eclipse, you can observe the outer layers of the sun, the corona, and that layer is both very faint and therefore impossible to see when the rest of the sun is visible, but also very important, both for the understanding the aurora but also for understanding magnetic processes in the sun. The study of solar eclipses is also important for other branches of physics. For example, the bending of light around the surface of the sun was first observed in a solar eclipse, demonstrating the validity of the general theory of relativity. Solar eclipses also play an important role in the history of science at Brown. Both the first director of Ladd Observatory, Winslow Upton, and the longtime director, Charles Smiley, observed solar eclipses. Smiley, in particular, studied eclipses by mounting expeditions throughout the world to study the corona and the magnetic outer layers of the sun. Aside from their significance for physics, total solar eclipses are also amazingly cool. The experience of being under darkness in the middle of the day, seeing the animals react to darkness, seeing the shadow of the moon hurtling 900 miles an hour towards you, and experiencing these things with all the people around you are things that people don't forget. For this eclipse, the path of the moon's shadow will trace a 60 mile wide swath from the coast of Oregon to the coast of South Carolina. At the center of the path, the eclipse will last about two minutes and 40 seconds. Here in Rhode Island, we will not see all of the sun's surface covered by the moon. Instead, only about 70% of the sun will be covered, and we will experience what is called a partial solar eclipse. The partial eclipse will begin at about 1 p.m. local time and end at about 4 p.m. local time. Total eclipses of the sun are rare. They occur somewhere on Earth about once every year. The next total solar eclipse to occur over the continental U.S. will be on April 8, 2024. The path of totality will pass closer to Rhode Island. It'll be a total eclipse over northern New England. If you want to experience totality over Rhode Island, you have to wait until May 1, 2079. At Brown, we will be holding an event on the main green to celebrate the eclipse and observe it with telescopes and glasses for safe viewing. The event will begin around 1 p.m. and run till the end of the eclipse around 4 and will be open to the public.